Prue's controversial food opinion. Well, I think we have to start eating insects, basically. Hi, I'm Prue Leaf, and I'm in New York in the Delish Kitchen, and I'm here to discuss some very controversial US UK debates about culinary matters. These hot subjects are going to get spicier and spicier as I progress. American food is better than British food. That's a stupid be fun. Let's go. Right, so question number one. Are American portion sizes way too big? Well, of course they are. They're ridiculously too big. Mind you, Americans have mostly got it cracked because they order them and then they order a bonzo bag to take it all home with them. Question number two, or matter number two. American chocolate is better than British chocolate. No, it is not. Honestly, I mean, your most famous chocolate, which I'm not allowed to name, is not chocolate at all. It's horrible. Whereas our most famous chocolate is absolutely delicious. It's creamy, it's chocolatey, it really tastes the chocolate. Come on guys, buy, buy British. Question number three, I'm getting quite excited now. British biscuits are better than American cookies. I'm sorry to say they're not. British biscuits, they're okay. And you know, they're nice with a cup of tea, but they're nothing like an American cookie. I mean, the point about American cookies is they're squashy in the middle and they're quite sweet and they often have chocolate chips in there. Given a choice, I'd have an American cookie. Next one, we're on to yellow, which means it's getting a bit hot. Oh, baked beans belong nowhere near the breakfast table. You're absolutely right. They are an abomination. And I have to say the British love baked beans, but people put baked beans in everything and you know, Baked beans have their place, but not at breakfast, please. Next one, Ribena is better than American juice. I find this quite difficult because I don't like my Ribena and I don't like American juice. I don't like fruit juice. It is absolutely packed with sugar. You'd be better off eating an orange or eating the fruit. In fact, I remember reading in Delish that most American juice isn't what it says on the in any way, it's apple juice with a bit of flavoring. And apple juice is very nice, but it's full of sugar. I'd say I don't like either. Right, next one. British potato crisps are better than American chips. I never eat either. I don't quite like them. Sometimes somebody produces a bowl of them and I'll eat them. So I honestly don't know the difference. Is there a difference? I don't care for them much anyway. The next one. Room temperature cask ale is better than ice cold beer. Well, this is second-hand information because I don't really drink beer very much, but my husband does, and he likes it out, not out of the fridge. I think Americans love their beer really cold. Half the Brits have got used to cold, chilled beers and love them. My, my generation still like beer off the shelf, not cold. Okay, so we're now getting into the red questions, which are a bit hotter. Savory pies are way better than sweet pies. I would agree. I think a good savory pie, it takes more skill to make. Mind you, if I can digress a bit, the best sweet pie in the world is an American apple pie. You know, the whole world makes some apple pies. Every single nation has its, its apple pie, that they're very, you know, Danish apple cake or British apple pie. But I think the American one with sweet short crust pastry, at bottom and top and really thick and a great big slab of sliced apples in the middle, sort of juicy and soft. It's just unbelievably good, especially with a great blob of ice cream. But by and large, I think savory pies, and there's so many of them, take more skill to make and when they're beautifully done, they are just amazing. And I'm always so admiring of cooks who bother to make good pies. Right, so this is the second last hot question. American food is better than British food. That's a stupid, that is a really stupid uh, phrase because what part of America? America is enormous and there's fantastically good American food and ditto, ditto British. I mean, there are regional dishes that you can't beat and that'll be true for America too. So I think this is a seriously stupid question and I'm not prepared to answer it. Okay, so I'd, I'd say head to head. I mean, there's wonderful food in both. And there's some pretty disgusting food in both too. So the last one, what's your controversial food opinion? 
Prue's controversial food opinion. Well, I think we have to start eating insects, basically. I mean, insects are really good protein. Half the world eats them anyway. If you're in Cambodia and you walk along the Mekong, and there's a sort of walk in Phnom Penh um, on the river, and every stall is frying, deep frying a different insect, so they're tarantulas and cockroaches and goodness knows what else. But I have to tell you, anything deep fried tastes delicious. <laughs> so it's cr crunchy and it's salty and it's absolutely lovely. So I think it's the way to make sure that our protein is there without endangering the planet. And it should be delicious, but um, I don't think lots of people will agree with me. But they will one day, I promise you. Well, that was huge fun. I enjoyed that. I'm really opinionated, so I love it when I can just blast off and there's nobody here to um, gainsay me. So I enjoyed that a lot. Thank you. And don't forget to drop your hot takes in the comment section. And finally, please don't forget to watch the great American baking show on Roku now. Bye-bye.